Welcome to editing with the iPhone or iPad. Today we're going to be using iMovie, which is one of my favorite editors. So you'll want to have your desktop or a tablet or a device that you can watch the video and then you can edit on your iPad or your iPhone. Let's get started. Welcome to editing with iMovie. As you can see here, I'm on my iPhone and I've uh, created a video folder here with all my video uh, cameras and my editing suites. The challenge of working inside of the focus system is it's really hard with this plastic here to really work uh, with an editing suite. It just, it just makes it very, very challenging. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually pull it out of, of the focus system, which is no big deal. And then that way I have both my thumbs available to edit and uh, index fingers if needed. So uh, I just wanted to kind of make sure that you hold this in your hand like this. All right, so one of my favorite apps is iMovie. And what I love about it is this button here. This is a contact sensitive help and you can actually edit while you're having your help on. And so then you can click on these little icons and you can learn more about that particular help feature. And you can scroll through here. I wish more apps would do this. This makes your life so much easier when you're getting started. So I'm gonna go through this very, very quickly. I'm gonna show you only the basics and that way you can get started right away. So on the top right, there's a plus sign. We wanna hit that. We wanna hit movie and we wanna hit create movie. So you can see it's very quick. I've also got this hooked up to my uh, PowerRox battery because I hate losing power in the middle of, a, um, a middle of an edit. And what's kind of nice about this is this, uh, the plug here actually helps you to hold the phone a little bit easier. So again, we can toggle on our help, contact sensitive help, if we need to, I'm gonna leave it off for now just because it makes it easier for me to navigate. So down here in the bottom left, there's a little tiny film icon, and this is where we can pull in our film. So I shot a video a couple days ago, and I call it uh, Country Cabin Cooking. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of those pieces, and you have, again, lots of different options here. You can actually play it, so it'll play up here in this screen. So you can make sure that that's the right piece that you wanted to drop into the timeline. And then you have this down button. And what that does is it actually brings it onto your timeline. And you can see right here, it's 52.7 seconds. Now, if you wanna trim the heads and the tails, obviously the uh, end is the tail, all you have to do is click on it once, it turns uh, it yellow with a yellow bounding box, and then you click on the, the, the yellow bar there and you start to drag it. And wherever you drag it and let go is where it'll stop. And you can continue to drag it to get it right where the spot you want it. So that's how you trim the end, and it's also how you trim the beginning. So if you want to actually edit in the middle or you want to cut a piece out, let's say this scene right here where I've got that white egg. I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to select it again. And I'm going to swipe down. And then I'm going to scroll over with my thumb. Oop, wrong direction. Right there. So I'm going to click on it again. And I'm going to swipe down. Sometimes it takes a couple times. And you can see right there, it actually inserts a transition for you if you need it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this piece and I'm actually going to get rid of it. So this is how you edit out pieces that you don't want. And so there's actually a few seconds in there. You can see that the transition doesn't make a lot of sense because I'm going from the white egg to the brown egg. Well, actually, it's not too bad. But um, that gives you an idea of how you can trim the beginning. And I'm going to do the beginning again just so you get a better feel for it. Again, you click on it once. You grab the yellow bar. And you can see at the top, it's reducing my timeline. So we can start or stop the timeline wherever we want. Now, another thing I want to show you here is actually creating a transition. You click on this. And you can see here, you double click on it, and it actually brings up different types of transitions from a wipe to a fade to black. And 
you can see the transition or a jump cut and it'll show up right here. So that was a pretty smooth transition. You may or may not be able to see the difference. So it'll wipe from top to bottom or left to right or right to left. So we're just going to uh, select the default setting there. And boom, it wiped from left to right. I'm going to show you that again so you can see it because it's pretty quick. And then you can increase the actual time that you want the transition to go. So right now it's 0.5 seconds. And we could bump it up to two seconds. And so the transition will slow down. And depending on the speed of what you're showing, you notice that right there? Watch this. Right there. It's just a nice, smooth transition. So depending on the speed of your uh, subject and how fast it's moving, you might want a slow transition or a fast transition. So those are some basic features. And you know, when you're setting up your first videos, that's all I want you to do is to come in here and test out a couple of the features, being able to click on it, uh, do a, a actual cut right there, remove some of the um, video and just clean it up a little bit. Well, you can add a title if you want to. You click on this and you click double click on it and you actually add a title right here. But we're not going to do that right now. I just want you to get the thing uploaded so you can see how you sound and how you look. It's a great way to test. So in order to back out of this, what we want to do is hit this arrow at the top left. And again, don't forget you got your question mark for your contact sensitive help. You have three icons here and you have some features. So it says it's 29 seconds, the date it was created, and then we can type in the title. And this will pick this up when you uh, upload it to YouTube or Vimeo or whoever you use. Okay, so now I've created the title. Oh, it's telling me I've already created that title. So we're just going to call it Cook or Cooking. And this is your upload button. We can also play it. So we can play it right here. And I'm actually recording this on another device, so that's not going to happen. Or we can get rid of it. So we're going to upload it. I'm going to hit YouTube or Vimeo. We just hit this button. Now, I've already logged in once to YouTube. If you haven't logged in, you're going to have to download YouTube, log in. And once you've logged in, um, then you're good to go. And so we have a button here, Add to Theater. And you can, again, uh, put more description in here, whatever the category it is, and the resolution. So this is really important because I like my videos to show at the highest res. It makes a huge difference. Now, I'd also recommend making this unlisted or private. Private means nobody can see it but you because you're logged in. Unlisted means that you can actually pass out the link to it to get feedback from friends and family. Public obviously means anybody can see it, but I wouldn't do that yet, not on your first few videos. So hit uh, share, and what it's going to do, it's going to export the movie, it's going to upload it to YouTube, and then what you can do is you can go to YouTube, your YouTube channel that you've already created, and you can watch it in YouTube, or you can watch it in YouTube on your phone. Thanks for watching Editing with the iMovie. This is a really great app. I'd highly recommend trying other apps just to get an idea of what you like and what you don't like. And uh, keep sending those videos in and please subscribe. Thank you.